The Sarkis and Mary Tarzian Nature Preserve sits between Hillside Drive and the relatively secluded Davis Street near Bloomington's Bryan Park. The preserve stands as a natural monument to Sarkis Tarzian, a prominent figure in the city's history. Now, Martha Wales lives next to the property. She says she doesn't believe enough people know about the man for whom the nature preserve is named. She asked city limits to explain why he was so important to the city. Bob Zaltzberg has this on the legacy of Sarkis Tarzian. The Tarzian family came to the United States from Turkish Armenia. As a young man, Sarkis went to work for RCA and moved to Bloomington in 1940. Four years later, Sarkis Tarzian Incorporated was founded. Tarzian invented a television tuner that could be mass produced at low cost. He opened plants in Bloomington and four other locations. The Bloomington plant at the corner of Hillside and Woodlawn housed the tuner division. The facility is now home to Carlisle Brake and Friction. Sarkis Tarzian also loved local broadcasting. He built radio station WTTS and then had an even bolder idea, to build a commercial television station in Bloomington. Monroe County History Center exhibits manager A.J. Giannopoulos says the Tarzian Company made a huge mark on television broadcasting. He started going into um, radio stations, television stations, and that's kind of where he became really well known was the small market television stations being able to branch out and do things that uh, the big city once could. Television station WTTV was born in 1949. It was licensed to Bloomington and known for programs that ranged from Sammy Terry's horror movies to Indiana University basketball broadcasts. Sarkis Tarzian Incorporated sold WTTV in 1978, but the Tarzian family and company still owns radio and television stations in Indiana, Tennessee, and Nevada. Tom Tarzian now leads the company. He says his father was committed to building a better Bloomington beyond his own business, and that included working toward a new Bloomington hospital. Giannopoulos praises Tarzian's leadership on the hospital. He was on the board of the, the board that was in charge of finding a spot and the funding to build the hospital. Uh, and I think that's maybe one of his most important legacies is building that. When a developer bought about two thirds of the estate of Mary Tarzian in 1999, Sarkis Tarzian Incorporated retained ownership of a 16 acre parcel in the middle of the estate. Tom Tarzian and the company's board of directors in 2002 directed the land to be recorded as a conservation easement and managed by the Sycamore Land Trust. The property can't be developed and will remain in its natural state. That's the land Martha Wales lives next to. She says when her children were young, they thought the word Tarzian meant park. That's far from all it means to Bloomington. For Indiana News Desk, I'm Bob Zaltzberg. We want to hear your questions about the changing face of Bloomington. You can join the conversation by going to WTIU.org slash city limits to ask your questions about the past, present and future of the city of Bloomington.